I figured this would be the perfect time for me to explain why I don't use a cup. It is they're really small for a homeowner to use and use everything. I don't see how you can take one of these and like the modern PTO stuff. You know, you put a three point hitch on it. You ain't got enough up here to hold it to hold it down. Even after you put the three point hitch on it, they make the conversion. It won't take much to even they, they put one together at the house. At the house. The next problem is you're limited to number cub three point hitch implements. What I mean by that, it's got to be designed for the cub where to turn the right direction. It can handle the full RPMs that the engine is putting out. See, these don't run off 540. These run off whatever the engine RPMs are. That's why I don't fool with a cub. You're very limited what you do with it. You're going to have a garden, cultivate, and you're going to take your time, you know, to go around and collect all the implements to it. You like just enjoy collecting that stuff, yeah. But me, I can't afford to go around and got the time either to go around and collect all that stuff. It's a lot of time, a lot of money to collect all that, all the implements for the cub. And but you can't really use no modern day stuff on this. It. too heavy and the PTO don't work. This is my opinion on it. Everybody got different opinions. Like that mower, you know, you... Four or five hundred dollars for just that mower, then it's belt driven. It ain't gonna handle but so much because it's gonna burn the belt off of it. I mean, really limited to what you can do with the tub. That's really not on food with them. Oh, that thing in there. <laughs> Pretty neat there. Anyway, that's why I don't mainly don't fool with a cub. I and mean, they got their place. Keep in mind when these were designed, they were designed to take the place of a one horse family. One horse, it does that fantastically. But I'm trying to I'm trying to take the place of four horses. <laughs> Not one. But uh anyhow, that's my reason why I don't fool with you don't see me fooling with a cub. You're just very so limited on what you can do with it. I can do way more. I can do the job of this cub plus a lot more for the Super AL 140. That's why I don't fool with them. I thought about fixing one up and the one up at the, at the house and uh, or buy another one's in better shape and it's used just to cultivate the garden with, but you're still talking about a whole lot of money just, just to have one dedicated tractor for the garden cultivating. I thought about doing that, but it, it, even your, um, like, even your fertilizer distributor and your planter, your planter drive over here, all that's different for the cub from the Super A and up on the offset. Even that's even all that's different. You got to collect all that stuff. Uh, unless you, you know, buy one with everything with it, which is going to very, very expensive. <laughs> when you get into that, that market, you're in the collector's market then. When you buy one with all the accessories already with it. That's the reason I don't fool with them. I can take the one, the Super A and the 140 and do the job of this cub plus a lot more. That's the reason, the only reason I don't fool with them. I think they're neat, great little tractors, but for my usage, I just don't fool with them. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.